Hello everyone, here's another Secrets of the Forest video, and today we are obviously discussing the watery world of Kamino. This world wasn't always like this though, it was originally covered in glaciers, but once the glaciers started to melt, the Kaminoans struggled to survive. Their only way to maintain their population was to clone themselves and eventually they were able to sustain themselves again. After years of cloning, their technology became very effective. The planet is located just under the Rishi Maze and is on the outer rim of the Star Wars galaxy. The atmosphere is breathable and the planet is in a temperate climate. The capital of Kamino is Taboka City and other major cities include Timara City and Darum City. The planet's major imports are food and droids while the major exports are clones, weapons, secret technology and here's the kicker, fish. Since the Kaminoans have mostly kept to themselves, not much is known about their history as a species. Male Kaminoans actually have thin ridges on the edge of their skulls, which suggests they might have been able to live underwater at one time. The species also rides flying Iwas, usually to get around, which are from the world of Nimbu, so potentially the Iwas were brought to the planet by cloning them on Kamino. The planet kept to themselves, but many things changed when Master Sifideus requested a clone army should be created for the Republic. If you'd like to hear more about him, I will put a link in the description of my video talking about his life. Since Kamino was the source of the clone army for the Republic during the Clone Wars, Kamino was a huge target for the Separatists. So there were two large offensives by the CIS to take Kamino, known as the First and Second Battle of Kamino. Once the Clone Wars were over and the Empire rose to power, Kamino was still a key f creator of soldiers. Darth Vader also used the facilities on the planet to recreate his apprentice Galen Mark, or Starkiller. The Kaminoans did not like the presence of the Empire on their planet, especially since they treated it only as barracks for their troops. So in secrecy, Kamino's people created their own clone army using the DNA from Jango Fett, the original clone template for the Republic's clones. Once the Empire heard of the treachery, they quickly sent in the 501st Legion, led by the bounty hunter Boba Fett, to destroy the opposing army. The rebellion was quickly washed away, but because of these circumstances, Emperor Palpatine decided that a clone army made from one person was too open to corruption, so other species and other people began to be cloned on the planet other than the original template of just Jango Fett. Once the Empire was destroyed, the economy on Kamino fell greatly without the constant business from the Empire. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and please tell me which planet in Star Wars you want me to discuss next. Thank you, and may the Force be with you.